Hello everyone. Uh, today we have with us uh, Kosto Bedekar, who is one of the newest faculty members in the department. Welcome to the department, Kosto. Thank you. Uh, so, can you briefly introduce yourself? Uh, what has been your academic journey so far? Where did you do your PhD, postdoc, and any other industry experiences that you would like to share? Right. So, uh, so I did my uh, undergrad uh, in in Coimbatore in India. And thereafter, I uh, did my master's from Georgia Tech, Atlanta in US. Then I had a brief uh, stint in the industry. Uh, after that, I decided to do a PhD, which I did from uh, the Max Planck Institute uh, in Saarbrücken in Germany, and also at the U University of Mannheim in Germany. Uh, in Germany. And uh, thereafter, I worked as a senior researcher at uh, the Berlin Institute of Technology for close to uh, six years. Uh uh, that sounds very great. Uh, you have a very rich set of experiences. Um, could you tell us a bit about your research area and uh, your research interest in particular? Right. So, <clears throat> so broadly speaking, my re uh, my research falls in the area of uh, database uh, and data management systems, and uh, more uh, particularly, my uh, research lies in exploring. Uh, effective and efficient tools and methods for uh, compliant federated analytics. So in, in contrast to uh, traditional means, uh, I focus on building data processing frameworks that enable uh, decentralized uh, analytics. So, uh, so what that means is we look at both. Uh, so when it comes to decentralization, we look at both the data aspect as well as the compute aspect. So in terms of data, we look at how to integrate uh, legal constraints that may arise from uh, regulatory bodies with respect to how data can move between different locations. Right. So to give you an example, uh, uh, consider you want to analyze data that's generated by autonomous cars in different geographies such as uh, Europe, uh, North America and Asia and data in these different geographies may face different uh, restrictions. So for instance, there may be legal requirements that only aggregated or anonymized data can be shipped out of Europe, uh, whereas no data whatsoever can go out of Asia. So in my research, I explore how to specify and enforce uh, compliance to these kinds of constraints. At the same time, uh, when it comes to compute, I look at uh, how do we generate efficient execution plans uh, when we have decentralized disparate compute infrastructures uh, beneath. So. <clears throat> So yeah, so that's broadly uh, what, I, what I do. Wow, that sounds really interesting. So could you share if some students wanted to work with you in uh, these projects, then what kind of background do you expect from the students? And in particular, if uh, suppose uh, some PhD students wants to work with you, then what kind of background do you expect? Right, so I think in terms of uh, uh, background, I think it would be really helpful to have uh, exposure to database systems uh, and uh, exposure to uh, programming. So one of the things when, uh, that uh, you require in terms of building uh, big data systems is to be really passionate about uh, things. So uh, as far as you are keen to learn new technology, work on uh, cutting edge research, uh, I think this would really fit uh, OK, so can I ask you one last thing? So what brings you to IIT Delhi? Why did you choose to join us? Right, so uh, so uh, I wanted to be in academia and uh, in, in India at a good place. And so IIT Delhi is undoubtedly one of the best places uh, to do uh, research and be in academia in, in India. And uh, you know, that's why I chose uh, IIT Delhi. So it's, it's really great to be around a uh, great set of people here. OK, thanks a lot to us. Uh, we are also very, very happy to have you here and wish you a great journey ahead. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Looking forward to it.